Hey everyone! If you're new here, I'm Nicole, and if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to be doing an island tour of a farm core island called Nina Cove. I'm really excited to tour this island because it's actually the dream address of one of my partners on Instagram. Her name is Jade. You should go check out her account. She has super cute kid core island now. So this is her previous dream address. So I'm really excited to see what this island looks like. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Before we get too far, I am going to take a look at the map. So of course we have Jade, and for her villagers we have Coco, Chevre, I'm sorry I can never say that one, um, Deli, Weber, Fauna, Blair, Patty, Freckles, Dobby, and Silvana. A bunch of cuties. Okay, and let's see, she did leave us a ladder, so we might need that at some point. And here we are, so this is her entrance. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I love the little bike here. Um, I'm going to take a quick look at the map so I can know which way that I want to go. Okay, I think what I usually do is I go to the left first. So I'm going to explore the left side of her island and then maybe come back here and check on the right. So let's start to the left. And I love how this island is set during the fall. It is so pretty. It very fits the theme. Oh, and we have this really pretty view. Look at the lighthouse over there. My big head's in the way, but <laughs> that's so pretty. I really love decorating islands like that in the middle of the river. I think it looks so cute. Oh, look at these little picnic area. I like that diagonal um, blanket code. That's really cool. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. That really looks like a house. So this looks like a little plant shop. That's adorable. Let's go down first before I get way too distracted. <laughs> okay, ooh, is this gonna be our Abel's? It is. Oh, look at that. We have like a cute little outdoor store. I like how it's like brown themed. I think that goes really well with the Abel sisters building. It looks super pretty. And then, of course, they have their own little sewing area over here. I like the sunglasses on the ground. That looks cute. All right, let's go up this incline first and see what we got. Oh, we have another one of these houses. Those are so cool. I love the, um, I, th I forget what those are called right now. I'm like blanking on the name, but I like how she used them to make it look like a roof with the storefronts. That looks really awesome. And I'm, I'm loving all these little picnic areas. I feel like they're very fitting for farm core. They're super cute. I like how this house has a garden too. This is really cool. I like that about farm core. I like how you can just have a ton of random gardens everywhere. It's so pretty. And we have someone's house here. Oh, we have Patty's house. And she has her own little garden too, of course. I love these wagons. They remind me of the Oregon Trail so much. Oh, and we have some more houses. We got Blair over here. I think just her. I think I was lying. <laughs> Blair has her own little bee farm, I guess you would call that. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. So this is like the retro transportation stops, but she put them together to make it look like a shed. That is really cool. Aw, oh, look at this view. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me let me get a better view for you guys. Look at that. That is so stunning. I love the bunny just in the middle of the wheat field. Oh, now that I'm looking, I see a bunch more bunnies. Wow, that is amazing. Coming back down, I wasn't really paying attention, but I love this little like fishing area next to the pond. And I like how there's the fish in this container. Oh, I scared the fish away. <laughs> But I think that looks awesome. It looks like somebody was just fishing there. That's really cool. Okay, so coming back down, we have this alleyway, it looks like here. Oh yeah, look at this. It's just like a bunch of those houses. That is so cool. I love the like almost worn down look of the car with like the tires and the gas can. I never realized it came in this color. Fits her island very nicely. It looks good. Oh, and I love these little just mini seating areas. How cute. And over here, it looks like we have a little like DIY shop. I love the pergola as the roof. That's really pretty. It's like so floral. 
And that's really convenient too, like to just have somewhere actually on your island where you have a DIY table. And we get another one of these. How cool. Oh, here she is. Let's say hello. Hey, Jade. Oh, her little resident rep is so cute. I love the freckles. Wow. This is just so cozy. So we have another house up here. Oh, and another little pond. I really like these ponds. Oh, look at that code under there. I almost didn't realize it, but it's like a little puddle. That's really nice. Okay, let's check out what's over here. Oh, so we have her house back here on this cliff. And she has all kinds of gardens going on. I like that. I love how everything is really like the same colors. Like there's a lot of browns and greens. It looks really nice. So let's take a look inside her house. Okay, so here's our first room. This is really cool. So we have like a little kitchen to the side here. I love the fan on the wall and I really like that light that hangs from the ceiling too. Makes it feel super realistic and cozy. And then over on this side, we of course have to have a little seating area. And I like how the fan actually moves the plants. That was really cool. I don't know if you can notice that. And I love that they added these curtains to the game. They're just a really convenient way to close off a room. So this is our room over to the right. So we have a dining room and I really like this. I feel like I don't really see this that often, like not a full kitchen and just a dining room like this. And I really love it. This room is so, so cozy. I love that little table right here with these combination of patterns looks really pretty together. The florals and the, um, like the plaid. I love how there's a little seating area over here too. Everything in this room just feels so cozy. In her other downstairs room is this cute bathroom. I love all these yellow items. It's so simple and so pretty. I really like the wallpaper too. It looks so nice. Oh, I like this little laundry area. How cute. Oh my god, look at this room. This is so cool. So she used a divider to split the room into two, which I automatically really love. And on this side is like a little seating area with a TV and all that stuff. I love that she used this TV because it reminds me so much of being a little kid. And <gasps> I didn't know you could put that VHS in. Okay, sorry. I got a little bit too excited about that. <laughs> and then over on this side, of course, there's like the little sleeping area. I love how the cat has a bed, of course. And I love these chairs. They're so cool. I didn't realize it came in like they made a brown one. And this little like changing area over here is to die for. That's adorable. I feel like I just keep saying how cute stuff is. I'm sorry. And for the basement. Oh, this is so cool. So over here, there's like this gaming area. Oh my gosh. I love the decorations that she chose to put on the wall. They match really well. Oh, and this looks so cool too with the bookshelf. Let's see what's over here. So we have another seating area. Oh, and look at it. We have, this is so cute. It's like a little hidden bed. Oh, I love how this room is set up. That is really cool. It's so cozy, like I wanna live in here. <laughs> okay, so coming back outside, I love her yard. Okay, hold on, I just wanna take a second. <laughs> this is really pretty. I like these like random wheat fields everywhere. I think they look so cool. So we have someone's house over here too, and I love the little seating area in between where they can just like hang out, have some snacks. Oh, this is Deli's house. I think that might be her favorite villager. <laughs> I like this picnic area with the acorn next to it. It's really cute. Okay, I think we have our museum. We do. I really like how she used the items in front of the museum to kind of like extend the front of the building, make it look a little different and helps it fit her theme better. I like that because I really wish we could change what the museum and the shops looked like because the museum doesn't match anything, I feel like, but it looks awesome. Oh, look at the little Titanic sign. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, this is cool too. Over here, we just have like a little art display outside. I really like that. And oh, this is Dobie's house, right? Yes, it is. I, I said it before. I'll say it again. I really love that puddle code. <laughs> okay, so let's go down this incline. I love that little, like, this is really cool. I haven't seen anyone do it in that pattern before. Like the two on the bottom, the one on the top. I think that looks really cool. I love all the natural items she used to decorate this island, like the vines, the flowers. I just said it, but these wheat fields, I think that's really cool. Oh my gosh, wait, that's so cute. 
look it's like a horse stable that is so cool those horses are so detailed that was a really cool code so let's go down this path here this is super cool she has like a road going on i like how she used scooters on it oh wait do we have over here oh it looks like a little bakery i love how she used the storefront turned around behind it that looks really cool keep going i think i missed this area before because i know that i did not go over a bridge we have a house here i can't check who that is but i like their house it's really pretty color and i like how they have a little plant area i feel like that matches their house super well let's keep going down this road oh look at the car this is so cool i really love how that looks and we have someone else's house right here too Ooh, i like their yard that's neat I love the like mix match chairs here, how there's a chair there and then a log on this side. Oh, and I like the cans over there. So cozy. Oh, look at the little hidden tomato garden back there. This island is so pretty and detailed. Can we sneak back here? Ooh. Am I supposed to go this way? Oh, this is so cool. It's like a little hidden house with a hidden garden. Oh, that's awesome. I almost missed that, to be honest with you. I only noticed it because I went and sat on that bench, so that was a good thing. <laughs> okay. Ooh, wait, look at this. I just keep getting overly excited at everything, but I really love this. I like how she used the simple panels to make it look like it's coming out of like a dark cave. And this train track code is really cool. Oh, this is smart. So this is behind her residence services. And she made it look like a roof. And she has a little um, tape deck and a coffee. So it's like somebody went up there and sat. I love that. I also like how she has the, um, the trash bins behind the residence services. Like a little dump. That's so clever. And of course, another villager's yard. I like how she gave them all like a little seating area, but changed it depending on their personalities, I'm guessing. Like this villager has a guitar, and a ukulele, and a piano. I really like the leaf stool. I almost called the bench. The leaf stool with this piano. It looks adorable. So let's go back up here, because we can go over to the right. And we have a bunch more gardens. These just look so nice with this pathing. Path it looks so natural. So colorful and pretty. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so cool. I love how run down it looks with all the random stuff in the yard. Everything just fits so well together. It looks amazing. And ooh, I almost missed this incline, so let's go back here. So we have a big fishing area here. Wow, that's so cool. I like how she combined the stall items with the storefront here to make a building. It looks really cool. Super creative. Oh, and look at this. We have a little beachfront, sh almost a shopping. I can't talk today. <laughs> fishing area. I love how many of these fishing items there are. It makes it so easy to just really fill out these areas and make them feel alive. Oh, I love her peninsula. It's so tiny. I like it though. And of course the yachts. We gotta have the yachts. Oh, and I like this combination here because it just looks so realistic. Going up here. Oh, this is our campsite. I really like that campsite. That's super cute. Oh, and we have these tents. That is so cool. I like this little seating area here. It's really cozy. I love all the browns and greens around this island. It looks really nice. Going back down from that bridge, there's a little extension of the fishing area and just a ton more of these boats. I think this looks great and I think it's really smart that she did it right on the like river mouth because it's just obviously very like watery over here and I think it's really cool. She did such a great job incorporating all of the fish items and even ones that aren't necessarily like fish items like these scales, I like that around there. I'm just gonna finish checking out these beaches while I'm on them. 
So right here, it looks like we have like a little cooking area. I don't know, I love this. It just reminds me of like camping at the beach. Oh, look at the books on the vending machine. That looks really nice. Again, I love the combination of items that she used. It looks really nice. Aw, and this is like a little beachfront, like not a laundry map, but like where you would go to clean your laundry when you're camping. I love the rugs on the rocks. They look so cute. And down here we have a little volleyball area. These are so perfect and I love all the little weeds around. So back on land now, we have another villager. This is Fauna. Oh, I should have known because she was walking around there. Her yard is really, really cute. I love the gyroid here. He matches super well. And I almost missed Freckles' house too. Sorry, Freckles. And oh, I love this little rug as like her doormat. That's cute. I also really like going under these arches. I don't know what to call them. Oh, and we got our nooks. I almost forgot we didn't see that. This is such a good combination of items. Oh, I like how this part here is like a little, it almost reminds me of like reds because it's like kind of like artwork, but maybe this is actually legitimate artwork. I don't know. And then she has this little shipping area over here. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. But I like that combination, that looks really awesome. I didn't realize this sign had like a car thing on it. That's kind of cool to let you know that cars are passing through. And Coco's house, I should have known that. Oh my gosh, wait, this little code here with the planks with the, I don't know, what do you call that? Like a picnic blanket on top? That looks awesome. Oh, look at, she has a little <laughs> gyroid choir. Oh my God, the bub bubble guy, bubbloid. <laughs> Did I actually just say bubble guy? I like him though, he's really cool. <laughs> it makes sense that she has a little gyroid and clay area since she looks like one. Oh, and then a little dog park. How cute. I like the stick here, it's like he was playing fetch with the stick. And believe me, my dog loves sticks, so that is a good addition. <laughs> okay, look at this, this is amazing, oh my god. Just take that in for a second. Hold on, let me get myself out of the way. <laughs> I really love the combination of all of these items. I've said that like 10 times, but she is super creative and this looks amazing. Okay, let's go inside. What do we got? Ooh, wait, this is neat. Oh my gosh, this kind of gives me like medieval vibes. Does anybody get that? Like, I feel like I'm at a medieval, <laughs> medieval market. Am I okay? <laughs> I don't know, this is so adorable. I just like have no words, I'm in awe. Oh, cool, and then you come out this way and you're at your nooks, that's awesome. Coming back this way, oh my gosh, this is super cute, the socks and the shoes, like somebody got comfy there. Ooh, and look at this, it's like a magazine rack. That's really neat, that looks awesome. And here we are, we're back at our resident services. I really love the way that she framed that in with all these like medieval and castle items. That looks awesome. I'm just gonna make sure I didn't miss anything over here because I did not go up to my resident services yet. I mean, other than when I woke up, obviously. But here's another view of like that roof area and the dump. I don't know, I'm just obsessed with this, especially because I never know what to do <laughs> with the back of my resident services. I'm always stuck. So I feel like this is a really creative idea. That looks awesome. Um, and we do have a path leading this way oh yeah i didn't see this so we have a market here i like that sign that's really cute oh look at all these items i feel like all these canned items are perfect because it's like all the farmers went and canned their vegetables and now they're selling them at the market that's adorable and of course another seating area i can't adorable when we go over this bridge, okay, we're back. That was the bridge I skipped before, but we're back at that little alleyway. So that is the whole island. Oh my God, that was amazing. So that was the full tour of Nina Cove. This island was absolutely gorgeous. I wanna say great job, Jade. It came out super, super nice. I'm excited to see your next island after seeing this because this is gorgeous. If you guys like this island, I'm going to leave the dream address in the description. You should definitely go check it out on your own. And also, don't forget to check out her account. If you guys enjoyed my tour and you want to see me do some more, 
didn't know I was Dr. Seuss, <laughs> but please feel free to subscribe and give the video a like. It helps a lot. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Thank you.